Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sarnet Television. We have a brand new light bar in from Code 3. It is the Solix light bar. Comes in a variety of different shapes. Well, not really shapes. This is the shape in question that it's here on top of this brand new Subaru. What make is that uh, Subaru, by the way? Uh, model number, make? It's a BRZ. BRZ, cameraman's new car. Cool, really great car actually. So we're going to take a look at the bar in a little bit more depth with Chris. Take it away, Chris. Thank you, Stuart. As you mentioned, this is the Code 3 Solex LED light bar. It uses Code 3's Cirrus nine diode modules all the way across this very unique light bar. So it is full 360, as modern light bars are, and what's unique is the center section that Code 3 offers in this Solex bar. Now in this case, it is set up with a 100 watt speaker grafted into the center section here. If you're not going to use a speaker in the center section, the bar can be ordered with takedowns, and it actually can be configured with a dual level. So this unit here, offers a low level with the Cirrus modules and an additional upper level. And I'll let Stuart get into some of those fine details for you right now. Well, thank you, Chris. It's always nice to have Chris throw it back to me. So basically, as Chris explained, the bar does come in a variety of variants. So you can, for example, have the forward facing takedowns in place of the speaker assembly, which this particular bar currently has. We decided we would bring in one with a speaker mounted in the center to just kind of uh, give it a different look. Speakers are not normally used in the United States or in Canada to a degree uh, on the roofs of vehicles uh, over the years. It does cause hearing loss, but outside the United States, uh, folks are quite happy to have the siren mounted up on the roof. And again, depending on the model of the car, like this particular one, it may not be practical to put a speaker up in the front engine compartment. Anyway, the bar itself has a variety of features, including the ability, as Chris said, to be in a duo version, also in a solo version. This particular one is a solo version. I'm going to have Chris quickly turn it on and we'll get a chance to see what it looks like. Chris, if you could hit the magical buttons. And right now, I'll step out a shot. You'll get to see what it looks like. And as Stuart mentioned, the bar can be configured with either solid color or dual colored modules. So in this case here, solid single color modules if you wanted to go with the duo, that would mean you can intermix and have two colors in one head. Currently with the solid, the Cirrus modules are nine diodes. In the dual, it doubles to a total of 18. So you have a nice full intensity from each of the colors in the dual module. So that means red, blue here, red, white, blue, white, and also on the rear, you can incorporate red, blue, and amber as needed for the traffic advisor, which is built in to the Solex light bar. Now the bar itself also has alley lights and takedown lights, and we'll show you those in a second. And we'll also get a look at the rear TA as well. So let's go and look at the rear TA. So taking a look at the rear of Code 3 Solex light bar, you'll notice that it's fully populated with the Cirrus LED modules. So with that, you'll notice the corner modules curving around here, closing off the full 360, and then six modules on the back of the bar. These ones happen to be in an amber array, and with that on the back of the bar, you have the warning and the traffic advisor as well. So with that, you can have the lights on, then pan to the left, pan to the right, center outward, and then back to flashing as needed. So what you would come to expect from one of Code 3's fully functional LED light bars. You'll also notice on the back here, rounding out the rear riser on the center section here from the front sloped of the dome. And also speaking of domes, what's really neat with the Solex bar is that you can pick what colors you would like the tops to be. In this case, we have it standardized with black, but you can also pick blue, red, and amber as well. That way you'll have some color present on the top domes. Can you mix it up? Can you have a blue and a red? You could as well. So with that, well, let's reference California. You could have a top that's red on the driver and a top that's blue on the passenger 
with the black in the center breaking the two apart. And again, it's just a colored top portion here, so it adds some additional pizzazz to the lower clear section and the modules that aren't activated until they come alive and blind you out. Well, so, go ahead, Chris, and uh, turn it on. Now, again, you've not, the TA isn't working in this one. Right? right, but the bar does have a full functional TA. In the back here, it's configured with an array of amber modules, as you can see. But again, when you set up the bar, you can do it to your preference, ambers, reds, and blues. And also, as we mentioned, this bar is available in a duo color configuration. So with that, on the rear, you can have a traffic advisor that's in amber and red and blue colored modules as appropriate for when it's in the warning mode. Let's cruise around to the side, and as you'll notice here, LED alleys, driver and passenger side. They also have the steady burn ability, so they'll provide illumination for you to the left and right as needed. But most importantly, when the bar's on and you're running code, they have the ability to flash for you as well. And back over to you, Stuart. Well, there you have it. A look at the rear amber modules in the Solix light bar from Code 3. I'm Stuart. I'm Chris. You've been watching Sarnet Television. Chris has nicely turned it off so we can get our eyesight back. Many thanks to the gang here at Sarnet for letting us have the B or Z from the gang over at Subaru. Check out the full light bar specs on the website. Thanks for watching.